Hello, this is Moraka PDX, and we are playing Elden Ring. Behind the controls is me, Tony, and uh, commenting is my brother, Daniel. Hello again. We're on episode 9. Sounds right. I'm pretty sure. 9. Where did we leave off? Did you beat Margaret? Yet? No, I don't think so. Still trying to crush Margaret. We just got the lance kind of figured out, and I was yeah. uh, still having trouble we making it work. New emote. She do the new emote. No, it's the wrong button. New. You gotta go to one of the emotes and go press triangle to select it. Like get rid of that one that's like the weird jumping in the air one on the middle right. Yeah, nobody uses that one. Oops. Triangle. I see people use that all the time. Okay, well then go down to one, the bottom one, maybe. I do the sitting ones, especially when somebody's taking too long, I'll sit down. This is some kind of like rocky pose? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a rocky pose. For sure. Anyway, uh, what, switch? The triangle, uh... yeah. And then the ring one, yeah. That one's pretty iconic. Slow build. I see. Yeah. Heck yeah. So do you want to warm up or do you want to go straight into market? You want to warm up on market? Yeah, sure. Let's... All right. Uh, got the big poke energy going on. Yeah. yeah I'm still using it. Completely... I'm using that in the DLC. Like, I freaking love it. I found other things and I still just big pokes. Okay. But I can sneak in to mess this. Yeah, not happening. Hey, you might. I don't know. You got a lot of options. You can keep pushing through with him, or try to grind and do some leveling up. Or got got lots of choices. You could also summon a rando. Gross. Yeah. So, all right. Fair enough. No dirty rando. There's cheap tricks. Is your AI brain turned on?
on the screen. Mm, it's a really tough one. Mm -hmm. I just have not figured out how to avoid that last strike. Well, yeah, the dodge spamming becomes instinctual eventually. You just keep dodging and dodging and dodging and dodging, and it feels like too much. But sometimes it's what you gotta do. The uh, running, like full sprint by holding circle and then pressing. I think I can't remember if it's R1 or R2, but it's, it really gives you a long attack. It covers a lot of ground in a big reach. I use that one a lot where you get that full sprint going. <laughs> You're the only one that can fall off that way. That one. Ooh, nice. Get that one. Oh, we got the back guy. Using it two handed because you can't use the shield and that at the same time. I can, it just wasn't doing it was much. Nerfed. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Try something else for a bit. Why don't you pull up the map? Um, go down. Oh, yeah, the first steps go down just a little bit. 
Yeah, 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 the checkpoint is just north. You just passed it. Uh, right there. Yep, yep. Just up. That, that side of Grace. Okay. Stranded Graveyard. Can you zoom in on it? It's actually the first steps. It's just up and to the left slightly. Yeah, quite nice. Grip. So I think you have to defeat Mark. Yeah, you have to defeat Margaret to get that guy to go to the next mm. place. Darn it. So the place I wanted you to go and grind and get souls is not available yet. Um, I'm trying to think of a good place to grind and get souls. Uh, do you want to go to the big angry red place? Sure. Yeah, why not? Um, so the farthest east um, side of Grace you have, yeah, you're going to go east. So you want to go to that side of Grace mm -hmm. and go east. Any particular place I should put a marker? Yeah, you, yeah anywhere over there is fine. You I mean you can follow the road, or you can just kind of go northeast and go dead northeast. I mean, you can kind of go wherever over there. Um, so you can just kind of plop a marker on if you see something that looks... Oh, actually, there's a... Yeah. Actually, go... Yeah, that's perfect. And then go ahead and spawn and head that direction. I think just going northeast or just east in general is a good idea. There's there is a way to get a, a cheap, semi-cheap, huge chunk of soul. And uh, it's what everybody did when this game first came out. Let's go there and get their like first giant batch of levels. So I think you need to go... Um, you need to get up on top of that rock wall in order to successfully. You might have to go a little west. Yeah, there's like a kind of a natural ramp on the left side. Or are you gonna ignore them? And you can get up to that other wind thing and take you even further northeast. There's one just over there by that other dog. Oh, there's a cave. Try hitting that wood wall right there on your left. Oh, 
No, it's nothing. What? There's gotta be more to this place. Try hitting that stone wall, I guess. No, it's not your first illusionary wall. What the heck is this place? What? There's gotta be more to it. Uh, what? I guess go back to the first chamber. Douche. Alright. Uh, isn't that just the way out? Yeah. What the heck? Maybe read the messages. There's a message right there. Uh, okay, there's Someone blood everywhere. Dude's just as confused. Warrior ahead. Warrior ahead required. Friend. And it says does not open from this side. Weird. I don't remember this one. Uh, how bizarre. There's gotta be a way through it. Maybe there's another entrance to this place, but it's weird that there's a side of grace. <laughs> yeah, strikes me as weird. Alright. Okay, I guess you can always revisit this place. Fine, this dungeon doesn't need my adventuring. Yeah. What does that one say? Try boss. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, that was the thing. Well, I guess we continue journeying uh, east. That road will take you east. There's certainly no shortage of things to explore. Probably explore that building to your right there. Yeah, that one. That little building there. It's kind of on the left side of this road. I remember stopping there and whatnot. And any building like that is worth typically checking out. I already got this checkpoint. At least point me in the right way, guys. <laughs> Keep expecting my uh, stamina to run out like in Dragon's Dogma. Or even older Souls games, I feel like. Well, actually, I don't remember if they did that or not. Oh, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Stamina just drained if you ran. Trying that again? So that was rough. Well, you don't have to by I mean, any means. It was a one-shot kill. Wasn't there was it? a side of grace there. No, they hit you twice. Oh, okay. Twice. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah. I mean, I think if you can keep the pressure on him and then back off when you need to, you can take him. You were doing good damage. They are kind of intimidating with that weird ass giant knife. Cool. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Yep. Okay. Too greedy. You had them though. You really did. If you just got out of there, that would have been done and done. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in Dragon's Dogma, there's a place called G O E L, I think, or it might be G A G O A L. Anyway, but it, it's just jail, and it's literally jail. But it's like all of these like sort of Gaelic or old old English stuff. <laughs> Yahoo! Some Mario noises. <laughs> wow. That's a, you know honestly, first time I saw that, I was just like, that's Mario <laughs> stuff right there. <laughs> Mario physics. Yeah. It'd be a good mod. Elden Rings. Like Elden Ring on PC mod. El Elden Rings like hit its Mario phase. <laughs> next next game, I hear that they're working on from stuff's working on is gonna be much more. They said much more abstract. I mean, it's just literally gonna be Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. You could run in and get that side of grace. Run right past and oh. get that side of grace and you can start there. Save you a little bit of running back and forth. There you go. Poke and retreat. Yeah, you got distance with that thing. Right. <laughs> over and over again. I don't remember what it is, but... I'm planking on it right now, but I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> They're being hunted by the weird invisible alien the whole time. I think that was that episode. Mm -hmm. I trigger this. Some closer. Yeah. Interesting. Couple of cookbooks. I got 
my ruins of snotins. It's weird how long they're taking. Yes. There we go. New talisman. I forget what that one does. It'd be an equipment. Yeah. Uh, it's the bottom. This is holy attack, but lowers damage negation to holy attack. So, you know, probably not the best rebuild. So, um, go down to system and then go to display. So, press R1 until you get. Yeah, and then go down to the very bottom where it says mark new items. Turn that on, and then show recent items tab. On, yeah. And then back out, and then go up to inventory. So this is the new feature that they added. So mm. this, uh, if you press L1, they've got the exclamation point next to the things that you haven't used before, and they're mm -hmm. fairly new items. Mm -hmm. And this tab shows you all of your new pickups. And so I love it. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm trying to hot swap and go through things in like a fight, it's kind of annoying because <laughs> I'm used to going to the, uh, the other tab first to the right to get to things, like to use these consumables. Because like that one that's got the exclamation point on it, that will give you certain buffs when you find those tiers. Mm -hmm. And so I'm used to going to the menu really quick and, and selecting that when I'm in mid-fight. And so the new thing makes it a little tricky. And then you get something later um, that you also can use for boss fights to buff. And so that does mess me up a little bit, but it's still cool. I, I like it because before you get new items and you're like, you have no idea what the heck it was. And it was kind of a pain to find it. Mm. How many souls did you get from killing them? Press like a block. Oh, one. Oops. No, maybe you have to press start. You got 25. That's probably not enough for a level. Um, well, I'd say let's continue exploring east. Going to Khaled. People love Khaled. DJ Khaled? Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. 
not a uh, poisonous swamp, but it's uh, definitely a pretty weird place to go to. This isn't where I was supposed to go. I mean, you can go anywhere you want. You know, it's up to you. I think there's a cave to your left. Is that what that is? No, I'm um, sorry. Uh, to your right, technically. Uh, no, to to your left. Straight ahead. Where that? Yeah, that that right there. I think that. What is that? Yeah, I think that's a cave. You can open that door. Or a dungeon, however you want to put it. It's kind of whatever you're in the mood for exploring, really. But at least here you get a checkpoint. Now you could go fight that creepy thing that just jumped out at you, or you can go through and proceed here, but you got a, a checkpoint to. You don't have to proceed first back very far. The grave glove wart is for buffing your uh, summonable, the uh, summonable friends. You know, the little ghost spectral friends that you can summon. To help with like boss fights. Through slimes. Yeah. Some of those are really weak to fire, but uh, physical damage usually works too, but usually charged attacks are kind of best. Oh my god. When, yeah, when they connect. Oh damn. What? Just try a general pokey pokey, I guess. A lot of times I just avoid them and just try to run around them. But you do have a lot of them coming at you. You might have to use the regular pokey. Oh yeah, that's not even worth it. I'd, I'd try maybe fire. With what? I don't know if I have any. Do you have a torch? Oh. You could try whacking them with the torch. Not all of them are weak to fire, some of them are weak to different elemental things. Yeah, I was gonna say the steel wire torch does the, uh, the weapon art on that one. Blows fire. So if you do like a L2. Yeah. What? Oh, you didn't have any skill power. Try selecting them. Uh, yeah, exactly. Now do the weapon art. Pretty dang effective, other than they keep getting those cheap shots off on you. You also could just whack them with it with your regular attack. The weapon art is pretty strong. That's one of my favorite torches right there, the steel wire one, because of that. It's the only one that has a weapon art like that. But this is wrecking them, surely. You've also lured them away from where they were protecting. I don't even remember 
remember where we found this torch, but it's one of my favorite torches, hands down. We might just poke him with R1 or R2 attack. Or maybe not. Try the weapon or you're just helping us go power. get the item in that other room where these guys came from before you go down. Yeah, go back to the room where they came from before you go down there. up and causes intense damage. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So you might have to switch with your uh, lance to kill that guy. Actually, that's good. That did surprisingly okay damage. Oh, that other item just might have been in a random drop. I don't think you need to go in there, yeah. I'd say hit that elevator up and see what's underneath. Or go down that hallway. But it looks like you could drop down underneath that elevator. Yeah, there's ground down there. Yeah. Oh, he's got a long-ass weapon. Damn. You might want to switch it back to your land. That's crazy. Yeah, you got some reach with that. Alright. back out and then go to the uh, we'll go back to your pull that yeah and then oh actually back out entirely and just hold triangle and press down on the d-pad 
Yeah, but in your quick menu. That literally blows my mind. I can just run past him. Screw it. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Those doors. Can you open the doors? Oh, no. You need to go and do the rest of it. That's a statue of Marika, which means you can spawn there if you want. Crap, you need to get back upstairs. I'm just letting this bullshit To open those doors. Yeah. You theoretically use an item to teleport you back to the site of grace. Or maybe there's a way to get back up. But you drop down. Maybe it was premature to go down there, darn it. Yeah, go to your inventory. Go to, uh, inventory. Go to... Probably press the R1. Go to... Uh, one of these items keep going down. Down. Oh, shoot. There's gotta be an item that'll take you back to the side of Grays. Probably back at the top. Those are all multiplayer items. What's that one do? Lose all ruins and go back to the last. Yeah, that's the one you gotta use. So we've gotta proceed straight and then eventually you gotta drop underneath the elevator. So at some point you probably would have been like, well, where the heck is the freaking door to the boss? Mm hmm. That was 
shoved. <laughs> that was good. Oh, but what did you do? Oh, <laughs> uh, where is this door? You should press triangle though, because if you try to attack somebody, you would not be able to. Triangle or X. Oh, yeah, you have to get that message to go away. I've had that happen so many times, and I'm like, wait, why is nothing working? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Hilarious. One flask and half a health bar. Yay. Going into this boss fight a little tough. I think though your door will be open permanently after this, so if you do die you'll be able to go back to this boss fight with full health. So this might be a bit of a sacrificial run to just get familiar with the boss fight. Oh, it's the pond. It's that swampy water that was giving you the scarlet rot buildup. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I wasn't sure if it was the attacks or the water until now, but it's definitely the water. back to the side of grace and come back to it. I think you probably just get like another one of those uh summonable uh sidekick things. Could be a talisman. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, maybe go up and to the left and then take a, a tight left when you get to the top of the, the rock. <laughs> Flipped him up. Yeah, go up here. Yeah, here we go. There's a big 
wall of burning things. Yeah, well, you know, but that doesn't mean, like, don't go here or anything, you know? It's, it's just more subjective. Well, there's even a side of grace just, just yonder. You get that side of grace for sure. There's just, like, a weird giant bird thing. That's definitely probably not friendly. There's even a couple in the distance. Might like throw a throwing knife at it, aggro it. Oh darn it, it's just too far away. Oh, bummer. Well, that's fine. So, if I were you, maybe pull up your mini-map, or you can check out what that thing has to say. So pan to the left a little bit. That castle now to your right, you need to go there eventually. Like for plot reasons. Mm -hmm. um, everything else is kind of whatever. Um, and you can pull up your mini map real quick. So that castle is down southeast. Um, yeah. Yeah, just roughly southeast. I don't think, I don't know if it's qu yeah, quite that southeast. But you might want to explore that way. Anything else is just purely, if it draws your fancy, you know, draws your eye. seen one on their horse before. Yeah. I think a lot of people do a lot of running through here.
Okay. That was fun. <laughs> did it for science. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just did it with side of grace. So. Yeah, probably better off with that choice. So reset the giant army of walking dead? Yeah. You know, I don't know if it was worth taking them all out. They were giving you so little ruin. So like, you know, it is what it is. I don't think it's worth massacring all of them because just the, the payout. Because they were okay, tough. Yeah, they're kind of tanky. At least with this kind of damage. I'm sure there's some kind of damage, whether it's holy damage or something. It probably just wipes them out. Oh, that's I a good would, point. I've never done holy damage, so I don't know. There's probably uh, some build that's perfect for white. Sure, them. it's like on this territory. Yeah, but this is a pretty big area. There's there's a handful of things to find in it, and uh, ultimately you're gonna want to go to that castle I pointed out earlier. But there's there's you know, like in that carriage right there, there's a weapon. You know, I think it's a two-handed greatsword. So, you know, is it? the best weapon for you to use? Maybe. I don't remember exactly which one it is. Might be this white hander, might be the flame birch. I can't remember. Some two handed greatsword. I don't know. If I'm focusing on this, like I don't know if I care. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's probably not worth it. So ultimately you probably want to go uh, southeast, you know. And check out all that's going on there. Because that castle is, is worth going to. There's also a giant sleeping dragon. Um, that is, you can attack him all you want, and uh, he doesn't wake up, and to kill him, and you get like 80k souls. Okay, that's yeah. the so trick. That's, that's probably what you should kind of aim yourself towards. He does have a huge hit point pool, so you literally have to hit him for like a long time, but when you finally kill him, you get 80k. So, I guess we should sign off. Yep. All right, this has been Moraka PDX. Uh, behind the controls is Tony, and uh, with me commenting is my brother Daniel. Yeah, thanks again. We'll catch you next time. Peace.